The next thing we just need to discuss is how to recognize a perfect square trinomial. Well, the, the following here listed are perfect square trinomials. We have x squared minus 6x plus 9, x squared minus 12x plus 36, x squared plus 8x plus 16, x squared plus 20x plus 100. What would be the third term in this following perfect square? Well, it takes, may take you a minute to notice, but all of these last terms are perfect squares. Okay, so this last one has to be a perfect square. You may also notice that this right here, right, this, this is 3 squared, and this is 2 times 3. This is 6 squared, and this is 2 times 6, plus or minus. This is 4 squared, and this is 2 times 4. So the middle num number, we need to take, find half of that and then square it is the process we're going to take. So if you took 20 divided by 2, that's 10, squared, we get this. So we can apply that to this question. And this would be, well, half of negative 7, or half of negative 14 is negative 7. Square that is plus 49. And because we're squaring, that last term is always positive. We can use this knowledge to solve a quadratic equation by completing the square in the next video.